and welcome to another For the Love of Learning video with me, Miss D. In this video, we're going to look at the bus stop method for division. Let's start with a simple example. 48 divided by 2. We need to place this inside our bus stop and it's called the bus stop method because it looks a little bit like a bus stop. I always remember it as there's room for the big number inside the bus stop, but not the little number. So we're going to place 48 inside the bus stop and 2 is just going to hover outside. When we're doing division, what we're trying to find out is how many 2's there are in 48. Or in other words, if we counted in our 2 times table, how many times until we get to 48. But we can simplify this by using the bus stop method. So we're going to start by looking at our tens. We've got four tens. What we're going to do is we're going to see how many times does two go into four? Or if we count it in twos, how many times until we reach four? It goes in twice. So we're going to place that two above the four into the tens column. We're doing this because what we've actually done is work out how many twos there are in four tens, so in 40. Now we're going to work out how many times two goes into eight. Or eight divided by two. 8 divided by 2 is 4, so we're going to place that 4 into our 1's column. So we've now got the answer, 24. Let's try another example, with a slightly bigger number this time. So let's try 963 divided by 3. Now because we're dividing by 3, I know that my 3 times table is going to help me. So I'm going to write out my 3 times table. So just like last time, we start with the largest place value, which in this case is the hundreds. So we want to know how many times does 3 fit into 9? Or how many times does 3 fit into 900? So 9 divided by 3 equals 3. But we're putting it into the hundreds column because we're dealing with hundreds. Now we move on to the tens. How many times does 3 go into 6? Or what is 6 divided by 3? 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we're going to put that 2 into our tens column. Finally, we move on to the ones. How many times does 3 go into 3? Well, it only goes in once. So we're going to put that 1 in the ones column. So now we've got our answer. 321. OK, your turn to have a go at home now. I want you to try 488 divided by 4. Pause the video now. Welcome back. Answers coming in three, two, one. Okay, let's have a look at a slightly more complicated one now. We're going to have a look at 492 divided by 4. So we place it into our bus stop, and now we're going to start with our hundreds. 4 divided by 4, which gives us 1. Now we're moving on to our tens. Now this isn't going to work perfectly because 9 isn't in the 4 times table, but 8 is. 9 divided by 4 gives us 2, but we have a remainder of 1. So we're going to put that 2 into our tens column. We can't forget about that 1, so we need to place it into our 1s column. So instead of having 2 1s, we've now got 12 1s. So the next part of our problem is 12 divided by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So we've now got our answer of 123. Let's have a look at another example. 786 divided by 3. Well, we start with our hundreds. 7 divided by 3 is 2, but we have a remainder of 1. So we put that 2 into our hundreds and then our remainder is exchanged and put into our tens. So instead of 8 tens, we now have 18 tens. 18 divided by 3 equals 6, so we can put that 6 into our tens column. And then finally, 6 divided by 3 equals 2. So our answer is 262. OK, your turn to have a go at home. Have a look at these problems on the board. Remember to use your bus stop method. Pause the video now. Answers coming in three, two, one. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you found this useful, please like, please subscribe. See you next time.